huge boar black bear came in and ridge that guy freaked out he's a little spooky <laughs> Gosh, his fronts are as tall as his backs. He's got crown points. Sweet. I don't like to guess scores before, but this one might be a holy grail, but I'm glad he's big enough and the more we've watched him. No gross. Probably around the 200 inch mark. Yeah, he's with that other big 3x4 and then another. The biggest thing is we, when we stake them out, I make sure they're far enough so they don't get tangled. Scott's kind of got some horror stories of coming back to camp and got two of them in a big ball. You're going to give your ranger, he's you know, two really good llamas. Well, here we are at the trailhead, time to take the llamas in, and hopefully our scouting missions in the last few weeks paid off. So uh, here we go, it's go time, couple days, season starts. to the top and he says that it's a lie we're never almost to it i have honest intentions Walking and talking, Scott looked up and saw the bucks. A little bachelor group of bucks, one had a radio collar on, which is pretty cool. So we're just walking back right now, trying not to spook them out of here too bad. <laughs> trying to be a fly on the wall this trip, and hopefully most things don't know we're here. But we're gonna go back and pick up the water we filtered earlier, and head back in the direction of camp. Maybe glass the bucks we've been watching at last night. Midday naps. Hunter and Scott are crashed. The llamas are cushioned. And I just woke up. 
Well, it's the end of the scouting session. Didn't see much tonight. Saw no bucks. Just does and fawns. Tomorrow's opening morning, so hopefully we see the bucks go after. That's the plan. Probably gonna hike out in the dark to where we've seen them in the past. And just wait for the light to come. Head back to camp, cook some supper, and go to bed.
had a real rodeo. I was down getting water. And a huge boar black bear came in. And Ridge, that guy, freaked out. And understandably so. <coughs> he, uh, he was a little scared. He was chased recently by a black bear on a summer trip. And uh, he's a little spooky. Less than 100 yards from him. So I left all the water and everything there. Got him. Thank God my knot stayed tied and he's tied to the tree because he looked like a fucking bronc, man. It was nuts. I had a rodeo big time. Oh, we're relocating camp. We uh, noticing that all the bucks are going to their secondary ranges, maybe tertiary ranges. And we saw some giants this morning. Don't mind my friend here; he's a little slow. <laughs> but, uh, I saw some monsters today, and uh, we think that's probably where the really big non-typical that we scouted is living right now. And uh, we're gonna go set up on that ridge. It'll put us closer because we can find them almost any time up on this ridge. But we're like 1,200 yards away, and it is really hard to get there. So we're relocating camp, which means our pack out's gonna be pretty good sized. But we're here to meal deer hunt. We got three more days. So hunter man, getting a turn, leading the llamas. <laughs> better than having it on your back, isn't it? Yeah.
it started shaking a little bit. So I'm not taking a bad shot at a deer like, like this. Um, he's a good buck. He's a good buck. He's got a giant frame on him. First light the next morning. Just barely light enough to glass. Set up in the same spot. Wait for that buck to appear, hopefully. He shows up about 7, 7.30. So we're just going to be set up and ready to shoot again. So, I mean, it's pretty much the same conditions as yesterday, so I won't have to change much on the rifle setup. But we're ready. Should be good. Fingers crossed that he comes out. Over here we have a sleepy cameraman who's in and out of consciousness. you get it? Yep, he's still. Where is he? He's, he's going tumbling. down now. He's tumbling. <laughs> Dude, nice shot. Mm. He just smoked him. Yeah, he's in those trees right down there. I watched him tumble just a second ago. I, I got him. Like, I got him stepping in it. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> nice shot. I thought you were waiting for him to take that one more step and then you shot that one like no, this. No, he like kind of stopped. I was following him and I was like, I'm on him. Boom. Nice dude. shot, dude. Could you tell where he hit him? What? Could you tell where he hit him? I don't know, I was just following him. It was front shoulder. I saw him take the next dude, step. Dude, he was. <laughs> like I watched the whole thing through the step. Hey, are you recording this? Yeah, it's on. Look at the setup. So we've got the swagger. Underneath right here. Then I've got the Swagger QD up front. Look at how far I've got this extended. I've got a mobile shooting table here. That is sick, dude. <laughs> and this guy's been trying our patience and our nerves for two days. He's been in and out. Just got almost shot in last night. And uh, now he's 150 yards closer. Yep. <laughs> Take that. Praise the Lord. Because oh, that makes life way easier. I'm shaking like I'm the one that just shot, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, these hunts where it's like grueling and you work so hard, you are definitely working together on the whole thing. Sorry, Hunter. Holy, is he big body. Look at him. He scraped off the velvet on the front, but that's character though. Look at that. Oh, you did right here too. Holy cow. I didn't even realize he had eye guards. Oh yeah, I saw them. You got all those points on the bird. Nice shot. Thank you. We got right He even roughed up his hide. We got it done, 323 yards. This show has been the epitome of ups and downs and crazy distances covered. But we had a fairly major black bear encounter. Brandon uh, and the llama had a rodeo. We had to relocate about four miles to get over here to where the deer actually were. Um, we did not find the giant we've been looking for, but we found this giant instead. And so I will be happy to take this home, um, share the meat with my family, put this uh, up on the wall. Uh, we've got lots more hunts coming. We've got lots more adventure planned just like this one. So make sure you have subscribed and make sure you are watching all of the high country action that we have here on Eastman's Hunting TV and Eastman's YouTube channel.
right, last day, we're packing out. We got our friends, the llamas back there. Scott getting all his stuff ready. We're just about ready to tear down our little tents. Got everything else pretty much ready to go. Here we go, rolling out of the high country. A little storm that moved in today, but we knew it was coming. Really the only bad day of the trip, everything's been bluebird skies and gorgeous. We're heading out, hopefully back to the trailhead. We got quite a jaunt ahead of us. Good times. It's two years in a row. Packed out. Really terrible day of weather. Wouldn't be mule deer hunting without at least one day being socked in. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys next time on Eastman's.